guys, what's up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm starting another little weekly vlog right now. I have my Invisalign in, so do not make fun of me for how I sound. I really need to get better at wearing them, and I'm almost done with my treatment. And I also have an orthodontist appointment today, so that's why I'm really wearing them. I want to make a good impression when I go to my appointment. So right now, it's currently 9 a.m., and I have a facial appointment at Hey Day. I love getting facials at Hey Day. They're the best ever. Every time they ask me to come in, I'm like, yes. Please, thank you. I love their facials. They always make my skin feel and look amazing. So since I just got back from a trip, this is like exactly what I need because I feel like my skin has been very congested. So I'm excited. My appointment's at 10 and I'm waiting for Sam to come out because he's taking the drive with me to the city. And then from the facial, I have to go right over to Brooklyn for my orthodontist appointment. So we're gonna be all over the map today. I'm in my little vacation mode shirt right now. Thought it fit the mood of relaxation getting a facial today. <laughs> Made it into the city. I'm walking to Heyday right now and I'm excited to get my facial. guys just got out of my facial look at how glowy and nice my skin looks i have some redness around like some little areas because we did extractions and it felt literally amazing i don't know if you guys saw it in the clip but he showed me all the stuff that came out of my skin on the little pad and it was crazy how much came out of my skin he really got all that out of there and so now i'm like recovering a little that's like all the little spots that you see but my skin feels so amazing and clean and like I look so glowy so I'm very happy about it However, I literally got my period as I was sitting there like I felt like I was cramping so bad but I was like trying to relax and like enjoy the facial but lo and behold I did and now I have some cramps which is not fun But Sam ran into a store and got me tampons So that's good and now he also just left the car because he's going to go get me a bagel and a coffee i have to stay in the car because there was no parking and i don't want to get a ticket so i'm gonna wait in the car being a little passenger princess in my own vehicle while he goes and gets me coffee and a bagel and then he's gonna drive me to my orthodontist appointment we have quite some time it's in two hours from now so i'm gonna just eat relax a bit because these cramps are not treating me well and then we'll go to the orthodontist and get these teeth checked out. We'll do a little Invisalign update too later, but. Actually, while we wait for Sam to get back with the bagel, I wanna show you guys a little haul of what AJ gave me as I was leaving, because they gave me this little goodie bag and I'm so excited to look through it. First thing I see is this little, ooh, a cute little fanny pack. As I was leaving, they had these little parfaits out and about for you to take, which was so cute. I think Sam's gonna like this, so I'm gonna give it to him when he gets back. Ooh, a little cup it says hey day self-care and have a nice day really cute i love cups like this you guys know and a little glass straw i'm so excited about this this is so cute we got a hat <laughs> it says spf on it they also had little juices out this is 100 organic cold pressed juice but it doesn't say what kind of juice this is but it's like green so i wonder like what's in it should we try it together i feel like i should drink this it smells very interesting Okay, that's not bad. It's pretty good. Oh, and then while I was getting my facial done, they were doing candle engravings, which was so cool. The candle that I got, it's so cute. I picked a gold lettering and it said, put your best face forward. I love this a lot. On my way out, she told me that they were having a little summer promotion where you can get one facial and then get another facial for free. Almost like a buy one, get one type of deal. If you use my code, it's just Sam Bogo, buy one, get one. So that was really sweet of them to give me a code. If you guys want to use it, hey, day's the best. They have a bunch of locations in the city. Coffee. Okay, I like the coffee. It's a good sign. Okay, this is what mine looks like. New York bagels are so good. We 
made it to Williamsburg, Brooklyn for my orthodontist appointment. Usually these appointments are very quick and they're almost like little checkups, but I don't know, since we're like close to the end, I don't know if he's gonna be doing something different. I'll like let you guys know how it goes once I get out, but yeah. Okay guys, update, they look really good. He said I only have a few more weeks and that my bottom teeth are moving according to plan. So I'm really excited about that. And they look really good, like I'll show them to you guys later without my Invisalign's in. They look very straight compared to like when I first started this almost a year ago. They made such good progress and I'm very happy with the results. Like always, you guys have to go to Beam Street if you want to get some Invisalign for yourself. They do such an amazing job. I love it in there. I've just had the best experience. So if you guys want to go to them, I'll have the links down below. Now that I'm done with both my appointments, we can go home. My stomach is cramping so bad. I need to lay down. So I'll sit now. You can and you I'm will. I'm in so much pain. I need to go lay down and get a heating pad ASAP. Good morning, guys. It's the next day. I went home yesterday and just laid in my bed because I was having the worst cramps ever. I couldn't do anything. I literally had an event last night that I had to cancel because when I got home, I was like, today's the day today is the day where i have to just stay in my bed because of my period and it's usually the first day for me always so nothing new but now it's next day i'm feeling a little bit better and i'm ready to be productive so i just put on a cute little top tied my hair back i'm about to make a little tiktok of my makeup i like to post little get ready with me's on tiktok so if you guys want to go follow me on there you should uh -huh. But yeah, I'm just getting ready for the day so that way I can film a few things I had a few things that I needed to catch up on so I'm just kind of trying to play catch up Yeah, after that I kind of want to clean up my room a little bit because I made it such a big mess And it's just making me not have a clear head So we're gonna do our makeup get a little work done and then we'll see <laughs> done with my makeup i just filmed the tiktok that i needed to film in the outfit that i was wearing and now i'm in something comfy because of course why would i stay in a whole outfit when i'm literally not doing anything i need to stop with the accent okay it just i just slip into an accent and it's probably annoying also i match these pistachios right now i got these in a little pr box and they're so good they're salt and pepper and they're so fire like I'm eating them like crazy. I have like four bags of them that came in the PR box, so I'm happy about it. I'm in my big comfy sweat set from Comfort. I love wearing the sweat set specifically when I'm on my period because it's so big. And I think it's like weighted or something. I feel very productive that I just did my makeup and filmed. But now I'm really hungry and it's making me like lazy. Like I don't have energy to clean my room right now because of how hungry I am. So, I don't know what to do. The only thing on my agenda today was to edit. I have so many videos to edit, it's like crazy. And I'm just like procrastinating. Like I really shouldn't be. I need to eat first or else I will not be able to do either of those things. Look who I'm with. Hello. <laughs> I decided to just order myself a pizza. I don't care about anything because you know what, I deserve it. And that's the only thing that I can think of that I was slightly in the mood for. So we're treating ourselves. And I got myself a little personal pizza. We're waiting right now for it to be ready. Hopefully it gives me some more energy. But that's just like what being on your period is all about, right? Treating yeah. yourself, not caring, just doing what feels good, and just like indulging and Indulge. enjoying life. Okay. Those, baby girl. That's what I'm doing and I'm really excited for it to be ready because I'm so hungry. Also, I don't think I gave you guys a real Invisalign update yesterday. So these are my teeth without my liners in. They look like this. I hope I don't have lipstick on them. 
my bottom teeth were the problem area if you go back to vlogs from last summer you'll see that my teeth were very crooked and crowded right in the middle so that was like what made me want to get Invisalign in the first place but it has gotten so much better they're not 100% perfect yet that's why I still have a few more weeks but it looks so good and even my top teeth like look so much better and I didn't even realize that like it could look that much better so this is what they look like I love them and I'm very, very happy, but I don't have them in right now because I'm gonna eat. That's wow, fun. that looks so good. Let's do a little pizza mukbang, shall we? Oh my God, that cheese pull. Pizza is just the best. Mm. It's just gonna be me eating and not talking. Oh my goodness, my head hurts. I'm tired. I would love to just lay down and watch a movie right now. What movie? I ended up doing my work, but I have so much to do. Let's go watch Elemental. Mm. Yeah, go tonight. Me and Sam really want to see The Little Mermaid, number one, and the new Pixar movie called Elemental. Mm, it's so hot. Okay, guys, I'm gonna start editing now. I decided I'm gonna pick editing to prioritize over cleaning my room because I just have way too much to get done. But when I got home, I saw this package sitting and waiting for me. So I figured we can just open it up really quick because I'm just like really curious as to what it is. And then we will start the work. Ooh, okay. We have a little Laura Lee X Lunar Beauty. This is so crazy to me because I used to watch both of them on YouTube. Um, I would be obsessed with their makeup videos. So this is so cute that like I'm getting their PR, like crazy. I actually met Laura Lee at the White Fox event and we've been following each other for a while. And then we finally met in person at the event and she was so sweet. And she watches my videos somehow. Like that was crazy because I literally grew up watching her videos. This is what it looks like on the inside. Really cute packaging. I see some makeup brushes, which I love getting makeup brushes in PR because like I literally am always in need of like new brushes. I'm obsessed. Oh, beautiful. I'm doing a full unboxing of this box. Wow. These shades, stunning. This packaging is so good. Wow. This is so beautiful. Thank you so much. Laura, if you're watching this, I love you. I feel like now that I'm like actually a creator myself, I see collections like this in a new light because I'm like, wow, like this is such a big goal of mine to do one day. So I just like love to take a note like how like the little details that they put into all these things that they create for different collections because like one day I want to make a collection with like a brand that I love. It's just so fun for me to see it now because I'm like, wow, like it's like when you look up to something that you always wanted to do, like you're like amazed at that, you know? So love all these products, can't wait to try them out. Now it's time to actually start editing. I'm just gonna zone in and probably do this for as long as I can <laughs> because I need to finish. Good morning guys. It's the next morning and I'm getting ready for the gym as we speak. I just spent the whole first three hours of the morning editing because it's my upload day so I had to get my video ready to go. Okay, gym OOTD, all gym shark. I'm literally so tired and I like don't want to go to the gym at all but I'm like forcing myself because honestly, whenever I do and I just go walk on the treadmill and get my body moving, it actually gives me more energy. I just kind of have to like fight through the feeling of wanting to lay in my bed. So I'm just hoping that this makes me feel better. I think I'm gonna go grab a coffee first. And hopefully that will help as well a little bit, but <laughs> I don't know. I'm just literally trying not to think about it and just forcing myself to go. Also, it is raining out, which is so not fun. It's literally supposed to rain for the next like 10 days in New York, like straight. The weather forecast is so spooky right now. Like it's June. The entire month of June has just been awful weather. Doing a little gym lip color. I always do a little lip liner before the gym. Just cause it makes me feel better about myself. I don't know, I hate when my lips have no color to them. And we're ready to go. Just doing a little bit of gloss. Let's go have a good workout, get some coffee and get our body moving. Let's go kill it. <laughs> gym OOTD. I need to get my gym bag. Now my gym OOTD is actually complete. Let's go.
I just got back, just got out of the shower. I'm feeling so nice and clean. You guys have no idea. My skin, however, does feel very tight and dry. So I'm going to do some skincare, some moisture back into my face. My skin has really been feeling so amazing after my facial. However, I did have this one breakout. I always break out on my chin when I have my period. So that's not that surprising to me. So it's fine. Maybe we'll put a little pimple patch on her. And hopefully she doesn't stay long, you know? I really just don't want her to overstay her welcome. I also washed my hair because it got so dirty at the gym. And also, I've been trying out a bunch of different heatless hairstyles because I made a pact to myself that I would take like a long break from putting heat on my hair and like really try to take good care of it and bring her back to health because bleaching it so much definitely takes a toll. So since I washed her, I would like to try a new heatless hairstyle with you guys. I typically do like braids because that's just the easiest and I know how to braid my hair, but I've been seeing everyone do the heatless curls with like socks in their hair. I have the little heatless hairstyle like thing, like the foam piece. But the one time I tried it, I literally could not figure out how to work it and it kept falling off of my head. And I was like, this is too hard. I just feel like this sucks. Basically a similar concept, just it just seems easier. I don't know. So we're going to try it out. We're going to do some K18. I heard a lot of good things about this. You're supposed to pump a little bit in your hand i believe and you like rub it so that way it gets like white and then it says on the bottle to like wait four minutes for it to activate i don't really know like what the activation process is supposed to look like i'm gonna let that sit while i wait i'm gonna put some of this scalp oil into my scalp this feels so nice and i like that you can put it in your hair like clean because it just makes me feel like my scalp is getting a nice hydration after like being washed because when you wash your hair, you're stripping it of like its natural oils too. So this serum just like makes me feel good about like getting that moisture back into the scalp. There's like literally no better feeling than like getting out of the shower and being so nice and clean and like doing your little skincare products. Maybe I'll put some eye patches on. I'm like feeling, I just like want to like do all these girly things right now. So I'm gonna do some eye patches. But like I was saying, I'm really upset at myself because I made a nail appointment for today because look at how disgusting my nails are. Like I got these done so long ago, it's like actually insane. And guess what I did? I forgot about the appointment. I totally ghosted my nail girl and I feel really bad about it because that's so unlike me. Like I literally always make an appointment with the same girl because I just like love the way she does it. Like usually she's like pretty booked up. So whenever I can get an appointment, I like snag it. I totally ghosted her. I'm so upset. I'm going to call back tomorrow because once I realized they were like already closed and I'm going to apologize. And I'm also going to have to make another appointment if she is not available for, for tomorrow. And I'm thinking I might just have to go somewhere else because my nails are unbearable. Like, you know, when they're getting to that point where it's like literally so annoying to do anything with them and they're just like grossing me out too because they're so long and like they start to get like all disgusting. So I, I don't even care. I'm tomorrow, I have to go and I have to get them done. So that's what we're gonna do. Maybe we'll just have a cute little errands day tomorrow, you know? I'm gonna brush out the hair now. I'm gonna clip the sock. I'm gonna wrap it. And then I think you just keep adding hair as you keep wrapping it around the sock. I'm concerned with this. Okay, I'm gonna tie this rubber band around it. Okay guys. I just finished both sides. My SD card ran out of storage, but I just freed some space up. Okay. I was literally about to say this front piece is not going to stay. This is the situation we have going on right now. Finish this side. Honestly, my expectations for this is very low because I feel like I always do it wrong. And... I don't know. I feel like they're falling off of my head. We're just gonna see how it goes. I didn't put my little bangs in because they just kept falling out. Time to take these off now. I do have a lot of editing to do though, so we're just gonna do that for the rest of the night. Sleep on these and we will take them out together tomorrow morning if they don't fall out on their own because I feel like I do things in my sleep all the time. Like, we shall see. Wow. I feel like this side got all ruined, so I have really low expectations for how this is gonna look. And it also still feels a little bit wet, so maybe I should have waited a bit before putting them in last night, but should I just like pull it out and then pull it out? 
Okay, so my hair is slightly still wet. These curls actually look a little cute, I'm not gonna lie. Um, okay, so as I expected, this side just doesn't look as uniform and like the curls don't look like curls at all. They just look like weird waves. Just feel like this result isn't worth that but i also think that i probably did it wrong i should have waited till my hair was a little bit less wet i should have maybe secured it better and slept on it like nicer so that way it didn't get all messed up but like it does technically work i just have to keep trying and maybe find better ways so that way it's more comfortable for me i need coffee <laughs> And Sam, I just went to Starbucks, got our coffees, cheers, <laughs> and it's downpouring, I love that for us. girls we just finished getting some work done i swear the end of the month is always testing me every single month because i always have like a thousand things due there's always something going wrong but it's fine um i just got off the phone with my manager we got some things settled and now i need to go and run some errands before my nail appointment i don't know if i updated you guys but i did end up getting a nail appointment and coincidentally i broke a nail this morning so came just in time it's at 3 30 it's currently 1 30 so we have a little bit of time before and i need to pack up my vivrell bag from this month because i need to like return it so i need to like pack it up and then bring it to the post office this was the bag i loved her but she is going back to her owner now good to go can you imagine i literally do these um heatless curls and like have a terrible night's sleep just to have these curls and then it rains on my hair and ruins it like that's just my luck so i'm trying to avoid that so we're gonna leave in just a little bit and head to the post office and then go get our nails done fun package is shipped out that's out of the way and now i have about 30 minutes before my nail appointment so i think i'm gonna go to starbucks again twice in one day i know it's really bad so that way i could have something to sip on while i'm getting my nails done you know i feel like that just makes it more fun i'm just making excuses at this point for myself so hi can i just have a small pink drink with no strawberries we got our drink i'm excited and i think this was a good decision because i feel like the best way to tackle the nail salon to make it more of a fun experience because to me the nail salon is like like i dread it the most it's so annoying i hate sitting there i get so impatient i just like i don't know just everything about it i just like i don't really enjoy going but i obviously think it's worth it and i like the results i think a fun drink is in order and headphones Headphones is literally like non-negotiable. You should be bringing your headphones because it makes the world of a difference. I pop on a little podcast. Kind of helps the time go by faster. Like I just feel like I'm just too impatient to sit there for so long. So I'm telling you, you guys have to try bringing headphones. It like really makes such a difference. I don't know what I want to do to my nails. Right now I have French on them, but they're so disgusting and grown out. We'll see what I come up with. Okay guys, I just got out of the nail salon. It was not bad at all and I just went with bubble bath. I feel like that's always such a safe option and it's just nice and clean. I got them super short and I just love how cute and pink they are. It's just so much better, like literally the best feeling ever after having like really outgrown nails. So yay, I'm excited. I'm gonna go home now and I don't know what's on the agenda for the rest of the day but... I'm happy that I got all my errands done and out of the way. Mm -hmm. 